hello guys welcome to another video uh, what we are going to do is today uh, we are looking at how to create random numbers uh, and how to find the output from that I mean for example we have uh, we're going to create 200 numbers between the range of 1000 and 9999 so we're going to identify the the numbers between these numbers and whether they are even numbers or divisible by 5 so when you generate it uh, this is the output how it looks like so uh, these are the 200 numbers over here these are the numbers inside here between the range of 1000 and 2499 same it goes to all this and these are the numbers which are even numbers in here and these are the number unit which are divisible by 5 so guys yeah uh, let's go to the coding part so open up a visual studio file new project uh, we are using visual uh, i'm using visual studio 2017 and we're going to do this in windows form c sharp give any name you want I just go with the default okay initially we need to create the layout the design and the coding part is quite easy it's not that much so but we have to understand what's really happening here I just uh, have only one num one button uh, to just auto generate everything. Mm. If you click it again, it just just generates a new thing. So initially, first we give it a name. Uh, uh, random numbers. All right. For the form, if you click on the form and just you can find under the properties, under the text, you can change the name. Uh, here we just. Uh, First of all, uh, I'm going to create a text box. Alright. We have a text box. Uh, shall we give it a label to, you know, like a heading? Just go to the label and we'll give this label a name, which is going to be 200 uh, random numbers. That looks fine. All right. Just uh, under the properties, you can find font. Just click the plus sign, and here we can just make it bold, so it looks much clearer. And on this text box is where all the numbers are going to display. But here we have a small options over here on the top arrow. You can find. Click the multi line option. Here we can drag the text box into a larger size all right so yeah it looks fine so if we need a uh, few more labels here only we are going to have the around five to six labels so I just drag and drop or just double click just arrange them according to your uh, preference all right uh, yeah so we have like uh, two th uh, right. thousand two thousand uh, five thousand seven thousand need another one more label okay uh, that is enough I'm going to have some text boxes you can find it on the toolbox uh, yep all right just drag and drop everything. Yep, and we're going to need a button so you can find everything under the all windows form here. The toolbox, the toolbox you can find it under view toolbox. All right, so we are going to name each and everything. Uh, this one is going to be the range uh, between 1000 to yeah maybe yeah this one just going to be the numbers 2500 to 5000 the range between these we're going to find the num 
uh, inside the 200 numbers how many numbers are between the range 2500 to 5000 I'm just going to go it as 499 all right the same thing all over here it's going to be 5000 to 749 all right the same thing it will be 750299 all right and this one is going to be even numbers uh, yeah we can do odd numbers also I'm just going with these things odd numbers and this one is going to be divisible by 5 by 5 alright so it looks neat so far uh, you can just change uh, the font size or with the bold or font type everything I'm just going with the normal default things the button I'm going to remove give a name as generate is going to calculate everything I'm going to do so let's go to the coding part our designing is done over here we have uh, the name this is a text box these are also text box we have one button these are all text box so just double click on this button so we go to the coding part in here we need to create some a uh, few uh, initiate some variables first of all I'm going with the string num I'm just going to give it as num equals to all right, nothing just some no value and we need to create the random this one is the function random which is going to give it as a ran or you can give it anything else you want I'm going to create our random numbers Alright, uh, next is we do have a int I mean i and we we'll give it as even int i and even even I'm going to give a value which is going to be zero. Alright, uh, next I'm going to have an array which I'm going to use name it as c and the new uh, int value the number of arrays are 5 uh, same thing we're going to give another array which is uh, x you can name it anything that you want no problem with that uh, this array is going to consist of 200 values this is going to be our random so far uh, these are the initials so let's go for the looping use for loop i is going to be 0 and uh, i is less than 200 because we are having 200 uh, integers only uh, and i plus plus from bracket to brackets all right so inside this uh, we want this x this 200 200 of this x to produce random numbers uh, which is going to be ran dot next the range we are going to set as 1000 comma 9000 I mean 9999 alright and the next one would be this number uh, this num we have created this string we want to uh, get all the string values inside we because we want it to display in the text box so plus and equals uh, which means num equals num plus uh, x i dot to string just uh, convert to string plus we're going to give it a uh, a comma and a space semicolon done so so far those things are done so let's just go to the if conditions if xi is 
divisible by 2 and double equals to 0 which is this is going to be the even function so here the even is going to be added one number so just even plus equals to 1 that means if it's divisible by 2 and there's no remainder the even will have 1 added to it so it just calculates throughout the 200 numbers so we will get the total numbers of even numbers in the 200 integers same thing if we're going to have x uh, i which is uh, divisible by 5 exactly and we have no remainders so uh, in this one we are going to set the array C the array C which is going to be 0 to have to get all the values which are divisible by 5 plus n equals to 1 Alright, so the next one would be uh, xi. Here uh, we are going to set the greater than and equals to 1000 and xi again. less than and equals to 2499 so this is the range between the thousand and 2499 so the c array 1 is going to consist of all the the possible values between this range one same thing we have to do for all the others so if uh, xi Greater than or less than two five 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 and x i well, less than or equals to which is going to be four nine nine. So this time it's going to be c two. I mean the array c two plus or equals to one. Then again if x i Greater than or equals to this time it's going to be five thousand and x i is less than or equals to seven four nine nine. All right, c three. Yep, uh, is plus or equals to one. All right, if Okay, I mean it's the last one. X i is greater than or equals to uh, it's going to be seven five zero zero and double n. X i is less than equals to nine nine nine. All right, this time it's going to be c four uh, plus or equals to what? Well, we uh, use the value c1 because uh, according to the array rules uh, it always starts with the value 0 so yeah that's right so 0 1 means 1 2 3 so it has 5 the 5 uh, array values we have been used the even has been used um, so far we have done the four uh, the for loop codings between the 200 integers now let's go to the output here we are going to have the text box we want to display all the numbers in the text box so the 200 integers will be displayed here the text box name is text box 1 so which is going to be text box 1 dot text equals to ah, I want this number to, uh, to display all the 200 integers here the next one we have the second text box which is text box 2 this one is text box 3 4 5 6 and 7 all right 
to display all the ranges over here so okay let's go this one it's going to be text box 2 text box 2 dot text equals to the range over here so this is going to be c1 i just put c1 okay but uh, we need to convert to string yes all right semicolon done next one which is going to be text box 3 dot text equals to c wait over yeah the next one is 2000 5000 7000 so this is going to be 2000 yeah c2 dot to string because the output should be in string that's why we convert to string same thing text box 4 dot text equals to c3 yep dot to string all right open bracket close bracket same column then next one is text box 5 dot text equals to c4 dot to string all right so we have put all the ranges over here the next one would be even and the divisible first one is the even which is text box 6 so here text box 6 the text equals to display the even just type in even to string all right the next one is going to be text box 7 the last one dot text equals c1 c0 yeah our first value to strike done so our coding part is done this is our design and we have the coding over here so let's uh, build it to see whether there's any problem here so if there's no problem uh, I think it's good to go all right it succeeded one just run it and see okay looks fine just click on the generate button uh it the displays we have 200 integers between the range of 1000 to 9999 and these are the number of these uh, numbers with between the range of 1000 to 2499 same goes all other ranges and this is the number output to show that this of 200 there are 96 even numbers and these are the 45 numbers which are divisible by 5 we can click it again which generates another one another one just goes on okay guys that's all i hope you enjoyed the video if you have any doubts just leave it in the comment section i'll be trying to help you if i'm free uh if you like my video please leave a like and subscribe for my channel for future updates all right guys thank you have fun take care